Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. Some of you, you just know you don't want to accept offers from certain people. A lot of people could be coming towards you now. They want to apologize or they, they have kind words to say, beware. These people, they are burdened right now by the by their own troubles because for so long they wanted you to be in a stalemate situation for so long they tried to pull the wall over your eyes for so long they wanted you stuck stagnant and paranoid not knowing which way to go and they were causing all kind of interferences in your life now they want to apologize now they're walking around and they're burdened because all of their karma is hitting them tenfold Yeah, because they wanted to win by any means necessary. Five of Swords, these people wanted you down bad. I promise you. That's the energy that I'm getting. They wanted you down bad. And right now, you know, the full moon energy, oftentimes the attacks are heightened at this time. Yeah, the Empress is here and the Two of Cups. These people, they wanted to stop you from creating any type of healthy, happy, harmonious partnerships. Whether this is friendships, platonic relationships, love relationships, but you're in an energy right now of being able to create. You're moving forward. You have some really great things coming in for you. The Two of Wands to the Three of Wands. This is progression. This is you looking at the bigger picture. I always say, don't get too caught up on what these people are doing. Don't waste your time trying to figure it out. The proof will always be there because divine intervention is here and look at this oh my god i want you to just see i'm just pulling cards off the top of the deck six of pentacles the tower i just talked about the year of the number six and justice this is divine justice being given to you this is karmic justice there's a tower moment that's coming in that's going to ensure that you're able to have that overall happiness that foundation that you've been trying to create that your enemies have constantly been trying to knock down these people they cannot touch you and, and now it has become a burden for them even to try this with you because you're going towards the sun anything that you want yeah there's good luck and, and fortune here that's coming in for you a lot of blessings ahead yeah victory and success rewards recognition but someone here will be ended these plans and plots and strategies of these people that they've invested in for so long either they're going to walk away or it's going to be ended i just saw five 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 on the clock yeah these people now they want to apologize they're hoping that you know they can get back into your good graces because they was doing magic for the longest here perhaps on your finances your career your stability that your health these people wanted you out in the cold i don't know for some of them they thought that they was going to make you come to them and ask them for some type of help for some of them they just had a really good time of watching you suffer the queen of wands is here you got some witch person out here that you know claims to be manifesting when in actuality they're out here um trying to work against you but you're the empress you're the divine feminine you're the divine masculine you're the one that has all of the creativity the abundance their fertility okay I've talked a lot about that too, you guys. People playing around a lot with your solar plexus and your sacral chakra. They're doing all of this manipulation because they want to end something. These people actually cannot stop or end. They can't end any of the magic or the manipulation that they've done. It's up and stuck. We've been saying this for a long time. Like They're, they're definitely getting whatever they put out. You have to pay what you weigh, right? These people are having to pay a heavy, heavy price for all of the things that they've done now they want to apologize now they want to be sweet now they want to call now they want to text no 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 keep the offer you don't need those apologies because it's not genuine it's not genuine at all these people they they feel away now because they're stuck six of cups this is a lot of people from your past you can expect a lot of people very soon to be trying to come towards you wanting to make amends and no mm -mm. i mean it's up to you what you choose to do but I'm just saying, to me, this seems to be very, very just disingenuous. It's, it's not sincere at all. These individuals, they see that whatever they've done, it has backfired. And I'm going to tell you, people know when something is going to backfire on them because they see you being blessed. So that means that if whatever they were doing to you did not work, then they know, they know that the tower is about to come down on them. That's energy. People love to play around in energy, Right? You don't destroy energy. So wherever you sent it, it has to come back. These people, I mean, they've done awful things in the dark. Awful things. 
Archangel Michael is like, no, 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 King of Swords. Yeah, look, these individuals now, they wanted to emotionally try and manipulate you and play games with you. They withheld love from you, emotionally unavailable. You had to go through several very long cycles with these individuals of being that wounded warrior. You've gone into battle after battle after battle with these same individuals. For some of you, it's a particular person here, a king of cups. This could be male or female. This person could definitely have Scorpio in their chart. This is a very vindictive, vengeful person. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, water sign doesn't have to be. But this is someone that when they're left out in the cold, okay, when you don't do certain things, when they can't manipulate you and control you, they, they decide then that they're ready for war. And I think spirit is just saying, no, you don't have to battle this person. It's something wrong with this person. This person hates the fact that you are happy. Yeah, that you have love, that you love yourself. Happiness, joy, peace, contentment. A, a decent, healthy partner is coming towards you. Somebody here is just extremely jealous and vindictive. This person is not sane. The four of swords, I've been saying for several months, if not for at least a year now, that there is someone out here who has some mental health issues someone out here has a chemical imbalance they are not healthy this person is crazy and and i feel like this person they constantly are rushing towards you yeah and once they're constantly being hit with the barrier that they can't come towards you or they keep seeing you winning loving yourself you have definitely have new love coming towards you that's going to lead to the ultimate wish for fulfillment for you okay here's that cup you have a huge cup of love That you're going to be given by someone who wants it all with you. This has someone very, very upset. This could be, you know, what I'm I am picking up a female feminine energy here, but this could be a man. It doesn't have to be. Okay. That's the truth. The ace of swords is here. There's a line being drawn in the sand here. There is no more heartbreak. All of these different rituals trying to sacrifice you, people doing picture magic, and you know, I, I just working in groups and cults and covens someone here this queen of swords just refuses to stop this person feels like they just cannot be defeated or this person that they keep doing all of this because they know that they've been defeated so they're constantly doing things to try and hurt you to sabotage you this person does not care what they have to do i mean this is someone who is crazy doing the same thing over and over that yields no results obviously is a person that's insane someone here is constantly doing these different i don't know rituals or just using various forms of manipulation hiring people just doing a lot behind the scenes and it's not working and i really wonder what is this all about because it really seems for a lot of you like this is someone in your life it could be a friend a family member or whomever it could be the friend a family member or someone that you've dealt with or that you're currently dealing with. What's very interesting is this person, they know that they know they can't beat you. But it's something that you have or that you are meant to receive that this person really, really does not want you to have it. And it feels to me like this started out for a lot of you like some type of third party situation. This could have been like the partner or a relative of someone that you were dealing with. And the energy that keeps coming out is this person is obsessed with you. Like, I honestly, there's not a masculine out here. This is new love coming towards you. So for a lot of you, if this is about uh, another person, that someone is attacking you because of another person, it's just very interesting how the obsession for you is so strong because you're not connected to that other person. This, this is, um, and I did a reading about this. It's like a love spell or breakup spell. It's something that started out small and it has progressed over time and it has turned into a real obsession. Okay, I don't know if someone here has a drinking problem. Someone here, for some reason, me looking at this, someone here could have a very difficult time with um, some type of addiction. Someone, um, yeah, yeah. Someone could have, someone has been defeated by some type of addiction. This could be uh, an alcoholic or, or something. 
or mental health. Somebody here may have mental health issues. And for like this cup being handed to someone, I'm literally seeing someone like in a psychiatric ward and someone handing them their medicine and them not taking it. Somebody here is off of their meds possibly. And they're fixated and obsessed on a divine feminine or masculine. Someone is, is very much fixated on what is possibly manifesting in your life. There is no possibility this is happening, but this person has been in the background. So I don't know if this is someone, oh, okay. Spirit just said that clearly. Some of you are dealing with someone or you dealt with someone at a particular point. And, and this person here that's constantly attacking you could be the reason why you and someone are not dealing with, with one another. This person is someone who actually could be in and out of like the mental facility. This is someone who definitely may be like bipolar, schizophrenic or something like that. And I mean, th that's not a joke at all. You know, it's a very serious matter. But this part, I don't know um, what has caused this. I'm definitely getting like addictions. Drugs and alcohol are here. This almost feels like to me the story that I'm I'm picturing right now is someone may have been left behind because of their addictions. I feel like whoever was in a relationship with this person could have possibly done a lot um to try and help this person. This person has now moved on with their life and they are they're possibly trying to come towards you. This could be someone you dealt with in the past that's coming back, or you could even have someone that you're currently dealing with. This is in someone's past, whether it's a, a male, female, someone has an ex-lover though, who suffers from some type of addiction um, and has mental health issues. And what this person is doing is this person is going into these um manic episodes I'm, I'm hearing man so this person could be bipolar this person is having like these manic episodes for some reason i'm getting to that the energy of the full moons and stuff like that it really really heightens this person's emotions it causes this person to like i said go into like a manic episode this person is someone who probably does have spiritual gifts. I'm definitely getting with this person um, could be like a medium or like an empath or something like that. They do hear voices, but I feel like the voices that's telling this person to do certain things, it's not good. But it's because this person indulges in drugs and alcohol. This person really needs help. This person really needs help. This really is it's not... This isn't just your typical, oh, someone is mad. Someone here has mental health issues. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, may have mental health issues and it could be um, hereditary or, you know, just in. But the drugs, the alcohol, life experiences and everything else will trigger a person. This person has been triggered and I feel like this person could have possibly been triggered because of like a breakup. That's really what I'm getting. I feel like you have a woman out here who could have gone through a breakup. This like this this for some of you could be someone's ex spouse or they had a very long term committed relationship. I'm just going to call it like I see it. Um, like I said, he could be a she. She could be a he. Take it how it resonates for your story. But what I'm saying is I feel strongly that there is a man who has left a woman behind. He could have had a home, a life. He could he definitely has been with this person. Um, these people could have been married the last three or four years or living together the last three or four years. I do feel like they've been together longer. They could have been friends first, childhood friends or something like that. I feel like there is a masculine here who has decided to leave this situation behind. I feel like someone really does feel defeated in dealing with this particular person because of their mental health issues and everything else. This person could have children, but someone wants to get away from a person that is suffering with mental health issues, possibly, like I said, um, like bipolar disease, schizophrenia or something like that. And this person has addictions. I feel like someone has been admitted 
to um, an inpatient or as an inpatient to a mental facility, someone could have tried to commit suicide. I'm so sorry. And had to stay like for an evaluation for three days is what I'm getting. This this right here is serious. Somebody could have definitely tried to hurt themselves. They could be under an evaluation, but it's really crazy because I feel like this person did this honestly to get the attention of this masculine. Doesn't have to be. This could be a man or woman. Okay. But someone has tried to get the attention of their partner by trying to hurt or harm themselves. And this person does have addictions and mental health issues. Someone is possibly in a mental facility right now, or this is something that happened in the past. And it's because someone here has possibly asked someone to file for a divorce or someone wants to move out. Someone I'm getting does not feel like their children are safe to be in an environment with this person. I feel like this is a woman energy that I'm picking up on that has really just lost it. And I am getting to like this person here with the seven of pentacles and the magician. I feel like this person has done some type of magic or manipulation here. Okay. And it's backfiring. This person did some type of like magic or manipulation, hoping that it would bring someone closer to them. What this person did is they thought that by trying to cut a situation for you was going to make something go back to normal for them. This is someone who is obsessed with like trying to make their marriage or their relationship work and it's been over. Okay. Yeah. The justice card and the tower card is here. This is a, a breakup. This is a divorce. Someone does not want to do have any more equal give and take in this situation. And I feel like someone has been saying this for a long time. Like, Hey, I just really want to leave this situation and this toxic person here is not allowing that to happen. Someone is saying, well, you need to stay because of the kids or, you know, we can't end this situation or whatever. Someone here, it, let me say this too, because I did a reading like two weeks ago and I was saying men are abused and a lot of people, they never ever want to shed light on that. There is a man who's dealing with like a very bipolar, psychotic type of person and they're hiding this. I'm getting a family here where they look they look picture perfect. Honestly, they look picture perfect. There is a man here who is dealing with a woman who is bipolar. She's having a manic episode right now. And I feel like this man is at his wits and he wants to leave. This person has gone so far as to, like I said, try and hurt or harm herself. And she could really be... I feel like somebody's going to say she needs to stay in a facility for anywhere from three to 30 days. And this has happened before. Somebody could be dealing with the person not knowing that someone has, that their mental health issues are this extreme. I feel like in the past, someone definitely tried to um, hurt them. If this isn't something currently happening, someone has definitely been admitted before for trying to hurt or harm themselves. The, the, yeah, this is this has happened a few times. Someone here has these, like I said, manic episodes. And I think it's called like general depression or something like that, where someone pretty much like they're always in a state of depression. But like they're, you know, like you can be a functional alcoholic. This person is functionally depressed. Um, like I said, they look like they look like everything is fine, but this person's mental health state is is bad. Ooh, man. And I feel like there is a man here who has been dealing with this or woman, however it resonates. Someone has been dealing with a partner with mental health issues and they do want to leave. Now, I do feel that for some of you, if you're resonating with this story, you may have met a person while they were broken up or separated from a person. In fact, you could have met this person while they're partner or their ex or whomever could have actually been a nice facility and you could have met this person they probably have not shared anything with you about their ex or whomever this could be something that they're hiding some of you this person is, is purposely trying to hide things about their past and their ex because they know that this ex could be someone who is really really crazy that they would need to protect you from like seriously yeah, 
you definitely could have met this person. This story definitely took a turn here. You could have met this man here. Now, I feel like I'm picking up multiple messages in this reading. For some of you, you do have a very vengeful, vindictive person. And it could be this person, this lover or ex-lover of someone that you're connected to. But this is a very specific. Some of you, this man or woman, this king of cups here, this person is extremely wounded because they've been left out in the cold and abused so much and dealing with this person here who has these mental health issues. I think somebody is trying to really keep on a brave face. People don't know what this individual is going through behind closed doors. I feel like this person has threatened to go towards a divine feminine. Mm -hmm. There's been a, a actual altercation, like a real serious situation to happen. I don't know if someone saw something in a phone or what. But this late, this person who has these mental health issues is either trying to communicate or is trying to move or travel to go towards a divine feminine. This person also I'm getting for some of you, if this person is on like any type of drugs or alcohol, I do feel like this person can like astral travel or astral project or something like that. I feel like this person at some point was dealing with hallucinations or something. A lot of nightmares and hallucinations. This person, they see you in their dreams. They see you and this this mask, this other person in their dreams having this happy family. And it has caused this person to completely just crack up. But the crazy thing is this person was in the background doing magic and it has backfired. Look, the hangman. Okay, the hangman, the three of swords. The Ace of Swords, I'm telling you, this person has tried to hurt themselves. That's the truth. This person has actually tried to hurt or harm themselves, for sure. And I feel like it's a, it's a backfire because they tried to do that to you. But look, this person, I'm seeing this person having an argument with someone just like, I'm going to go and find whoever you're dealing with, blah, blah, blah. This person here has been doing a lot. I feel like this person studies you like you're their muse. They see you in their dream. This person does have um, some type of spiritual or psychic gifts. They see you. This person has a photo of you. Oh my God. Yeah. This person has a photo of you. This person is also on some type of anger management or something. I'm saying this person may be at a mental facility. This is really strange. They could be at a mental facility or something. They, they're they having um, supervised activities where they're, they're being asked to participate in arts and crafts and figure out what they want. They're, this person is, is detoxing or something. But they have to be supervised at all times because they try to hurt themselves. And I feel like they threaten to hurt you. This person is obsessed with you. So whoever this obsessed person is, they watch you. I don't know if you have like a platform or something with the six of wands. This usually speaks of someone who has public recognition. Um, the five, of, the six of wands comes after the five of wands. The five of wands speaks of conflict, chaos, a lot of competition, um, jealousy, and envy. This person, they can see you shining in some type of way. They have access to watch you in some way. They, they, yeah. This person secretly watches you. And they think that you're very sexy, very beautiful. It's something that you have that they don't feel like they have. And I do feel that they have made attempts to try to come towards you with some type of offer or communication, but it was blocked. The two of swords, it was blocked. They couldn't get to you. You you were free. So this person could have tried to do some type of magic or something, and it was blocked. And what happened is, it, yeah, here it is. It backfired. This this moon, or maybe it was back during the new the new moon that we just had in Sagittarius. This person did something and it has backfired. I feel like you're free from this. But someone here worked very, very hard on some type of ritual or something. And it has backfired. This part some of you this I'm telling you, if you're if you are in communication with whoever this person is that's actually trying to connect with you, that has left this person behind or is trying to leave this person behind. Do not be surprised if you don't hear from this person. You may think this person is ghosting you. This person is trying to possibly take care of their home life and their kids because they have a wife or a husband, a lover. Somebody is possibly in a mental facility, and I do feel that they're going to have to be there for at least about 30 days. 
because the records are showing that this person has tried to hurt themselves before. This is someone who, when they don't get through, I have a reading that I did last year, and I said the, the karmics are starting to act like they are blind, crippling. I said that at the beginning of this reading, I think. Did I say something like that? I said people think that you're blind, crippling, crazy, and they keep trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Some of you, this person, you know how people say the boy who cries wolf? This person, they do have mental health issues, but they've taken it like to another level of being very extreme because they're trying to hold on to, I'm seeing this person just crawling on the floor. You know, this person is throwing dishes, they're breaking things, they're crawling across the floor. This is a very um, unsafe, traumatic experience because there are children here. There is a child or children here. Someone could have two small children, two like toddlers, I'm getting like between the ages of two to three. Someone could even have a set of twins. I don't know. Twins have been coming up a lot. And what's really insane is this person right now, it's something about this four of cups, something about the number three, something about three to four. This person could have three children and they could be trying to get pregnant with a fourth child. Anything to keep this masculine with them. But this person is crazy. I mean, there's no saving this person. This person is is really crazy. Look at that. The devil. What is this behind? Oh, my God. The devil and the ten of swords. This person, you guys, like, their toxicity and everything, it's, it's destroying this person. And it's destroying everything that's around them. This person drinks a lot. They drink. They party. Or something here but the three of cups also this person I feel is doing some type of like satanic ritual they're a part of some type of group or cult I'm hearing Facebook group this person could be a part of some type of online group where people do rituals like on social media you know a lot of different um, people practitioners and stuff like that they have rituals and stuff this person is a part of a group I'm sitting like they probably on their cell phone or whatever. They're learning a lot about dark things and, and they're a part of some type of group. Whatever they're doing to you is being blocked. Whatever they're trying to do is being blocked and it's being sent back because this person is they're mentally unstable. You can see it. They don't want this person is so afraid that you're going to have this person. Whatever they've recently done, especially with trying to attack you, though, it has now caused this person, yeah, their illusions and all. This masculine is seeing the truth about this person. I don't know. This person is doing this possibly because they want to hold on to money or the image of a family. But this person knows that you're a nine of pentacles. Nothing is wrong with you. You're successful. You're abundant. You're beautiful. This person finds you to be very sexy and attractive. Okay. Wow. Look. The star and the nine of pentacles. This person, they're obsessed and they know for a sure fact that their person wants to come towards you most likely to offer you a very serious commitment to possibly marry you. This, for some of you, could be someone who even lives at a distance. Absolutely. This person could live at a distance and they know that whoever this masculine is wants to come towards you. Even if, the, like, this person could possibly have to, to move or relocate or just, you know, moving outside of the home. This person knows that you have a person that sees you as a star. They know you and this person, I feel, will be like this amazing power couple together as well. Somebody here has been in the spotlight. I'm definitely seeing you guys. This is someone here, I'm telling you, they look picture perfect. This person looks like the most perfect, like, soccer mom. They have it all figured out. They're doing arts and crafts. Like, everything in their world is just amazing. Nobody knows that behind closed doors, this person is batshit crazy. This person is drinking, popping pills, okay, participating in, in, in Facebook groups and rituals, learning all kind of different satanic practices, trying to block a divine feminine. For some of you, this person is trying to email you um, the seven of wands is underneath the, the six of wands. This person wants to block you from having success. 
They're doing all of this behind the scenes, all because they know this masculine is trying to come towards you. For some of you, this person that's doing this, they're not actually in a relationship with the person that's coming towards you. But because they have a past, because they share children or, you know, they have mutual friends or whatever, this is not the kind of masculine just that wants to just leave this person in the cold. This man is very concerned about the well-being of this woman. I don't feel like they're, for a lot of you, they're not in a relationship. I've, I've had another reading about that, though, about somebody. Well, you know what? Actually, the reading that I did yesterday where I said the person that wants to marry you is like a secret agent or they, I said they could be a widow or they're very wealthy. For some of you, this is someone who, this man could be a public figure. He could, you know, be well off financially. He's dealing with a woman, I feel, who looks the part, like she looks like she is is healthy, happy, and they're a happy family or in the past they were. This lady is like completely crazy. And she's trying to destroy this man. That's that for some of you, this is another layer of that story from yesterday. This person is trying to hide the fact that they have a psychotic ex. They could be legally married to this person. Because with this person's mental health, they won't sign the papers or anything. They're refusing to let this person go. This man, whoever this is, they they have wealth or Someone knows that they're going to have what somebody knows that if this man comes towards you that like you're going to have this amazing relationship. Everyone is going to see the two of you together. I'm definitely getting like two public figures. Yeah, the Hierophant, you both could be like influencers or something in any anything. It doesn't have to be anything spiritual at all, but you and this person, you're both leaders. This person could be threatening to call the police. I just feel like this 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 person that has these mental health issues is behind the scenes doing all kinds of stuff. I feel like this person is trying to call the police, causing all kinds of conflict and drama, all because they don't want this person to, to leave them. But remember in the beginning, I was saying it's not just they don't want this person to leave them. They don't want this person to be with you. So I feel like for many of you, if this is someone that you have history with, this person has watched you progress because somebody here with the six of wands, they have access to watching you or monitoring. I don't know if you're in contact with this masculine or not, but this woman here that's crazy, she watches you. She knows everything that you're doing. So I keep saying for the last three, so for the last three to four weeks, months, or even years, this woman has watched you progress. I feel like she's watched you build a business. She's watched you, I'm hearing becoming. She's she's She sees the person that you're becoming. She knows that you're destined for greatness. And she's very afraid that the greatness that you're destined for is going to be shared with her, her partner or her ex-partner that wants to be with you. Whoever this man is, he wants to be with you. I mean, 100%. He feels like you are his end all be all. But unfortunately, he could have been married to this person who has these mental health issues that has led to this person now being completely obsessed with you. And I do feel that this person is really trying to hide this. The craziest thing just happened. <laughs> I just received a text from someone that I haven't talked to. In a really, really long time. Some of you, this could be someone from your past. That you haven't talked to. I keep saying three to four. So for some of you, maybe someone that you haven't talked to in like three to four years that they could reach out to you. I don't know. It's something here with the eight of wands about communication. And somebody is crazy.
that's an omen. You definitely you have somebody that wants to reach out to you, possibly. They've been stuck. Not stuck, but I, I I do feel like somebody has been going through a really, really bad breakup or divorce with somebody, like I said, who, you know, they're not making this situation. Yeah. Everything is fine in the Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Look, everything is fine this here in the Ace of Pentacles coming right after the Ten of Pentacles. Whoever this person is that wants to come towards you, they're coming. You have Taurus, Aquarius energy here. Okay. This person is coming towards you. But I'm telling you, like they're going through hell trying to get away from this other person. Five of Cups. Somebody here is disappointed. They, I, this, whoever this crazy person is, they already know that this emperor has decided to come towards you. They know. I don't know how they know, but they know. I just feel like for some people, I'm, it's two situations. For some of you, this person is with this person, but whether they live together or they're legally married or not, this person is only with this individual because of their children. It's not romantic. And I feel that this man has met you. This man has met you or reconnected with you or something. And this person is like, I'm talking about, I'm telling you, they've gone into a whole manic episode. You have the strength card here. You have Leo, Virgo. The strength, this person, they see this person taking, this emperor wants to take action towards you because you're strong. You're mentally strong. This person is not. And so this person, they watch you. They're obsessed with you, the hermit. This person is probably hiding in a closet somewhere. You know, I'm I, I'm seeing this person like literally. They go to different places to watch you. So I don't know if you're on social media, if you have a platform. This person, they go. Yeah, the world card. You're online doing something. This person, they go places to watch you, stalk you, and to spy on you. This person will sit in their car. I'm seeing this person. This person has been on a girl's trip. And they've been watching you. And their friends are like, why do you keep watching that person? This person, they, they watch everything that you do. Eight of Swords. Wow. You guys, this is like a twin flame connection. And this person is trying to come towards you. But this person with these mental health issues that's probably somewhere in, in a straitjacket right now is what has been blocking you. Oh my gosh. This person is coming towards you. You're a high priestess. Look. You could be a tarot reader. You really could. You could be a tarot reader. Look at that. Somebody is watching you. This person wants to come towards you. But also the high priestess could simply just be something here that's hidden. This person has to secretly come towards you. But they are very passionate about coming towards you manifesting this new beginning. They want to put a lot of work into this situation, but my goodness, this person, you know, they have mental health issues, seriously. And I, I don't know if, if their obsession with you is what led to the mental health issues or the mental health issues contributed to them being obsessed with you, but I mean, it was one thing for these people to have some type of arrangement for the kids or something like that. But the fact that this person wants to come to you has this person gone mad. I mean, completely. This, yeah, Six of Cups, Ace of Wands. This person, there's some, this someone from your past that wants to come back to you. I don't think you... I'm getting for some of you, this this may not be who you think it is. The Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Cups. Yeah. Somebody wants to come towards you from your past, possibly. They've always wanted to be with you. This person could have went, married somebody else. The person that they marry is crazy. And obsessed with you. I don't know if this masculine has said a lot about you. 
Some of you, you could have been married to this masculine at some point. But this person, I'm telling you, they watch you and they study. Six of Cups, Ace of Swords. This Six of Cups is not moving. The Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. It is a fact. Somebody wants a new beginning with you. And I feel like they have told this to somebody. And it has made this person go into a total breakdown. I'm hearing somebody say it could be anybody else, but it's just not her. It could be anybody else. Why her? Why her? Why her? This, this you had this person's heart and you've always had their heart. For some of you, you may not even be in contact with this person. This is this is happening behind the scenes. Interestingly enough, I don't, I'm not really getting the masculine or the divine feminist energy out here. Really, this is all about this. This. I'm just going to say karmic person. Oh my gosh. Death. Wow. And here's the lovers. Did this person put an end to your connection? What did I say about six? Six of pentacles here and the ace of cups. Death, the lovers, the six of pentacles, the ace of cups. Somebody is coming back to you. I don't know if you had a serious relationship with this person in the past. I don't know what may have caused 44, 44 on the clock. What caused this to end? But for some of you, this is actually your twin flame. This person, they're willing to put an end to everything to transform I feel like if this person, if they, if it was a need for them to transform, they have. But the issue has been this person in the background who is very, very childish. This person is very, very passionate and optimistic about coming towards you, giving you the Ten of Pentacles, the moon and the Ten of Pentacles. But this has to be kept a secret. I feel like this is someone who has been building a life and everything in hopes of coming towards you. But the whole time, Seven of Wands here, the Two of Cups, this has been blocked by this Queen of Wands who has a mental health issue. Two of Pentacles, she struggles with juggling life. Family and jobs, everything, because she has mental health issues. I feel like sometimes, I'm telling you, you guys, you will know if this is your story. This woman, she may look good. I feel like she has ups and downs. Where she can be doing really, really good health-wise. Her mental health can be okay. Things can be going well in her life or her family, her finances. And all of a sudden, she will just like go downhill. But it's something about you. I feel like this woman, she feels like she's nothing without this man. And the fact that this man is saying, okay, enough is enough. I want to leave. I want to go. He wants to leave. He wants to. Here's the eight of wands and the chair. He wants to leave. This man wants to be happy. And I know this is the four of wands. Wow. This man wants to go and marry the love of his life. He does not want to be with this person. King of wands. He's very, very serious about taking action. Because a cycle here is over. The world. I don't know if him and this person work together with the eight of pentacles. Yeah. They work together. And they could be secretly married. Or like I said, they have some type of arrangement. This man has, he knows where his happiness is and it's not with this person. I feel like this man just, you know, these two people are together because maybe with the Eight of Pentacles, they work together, they can have children together. There's something that's being kept secret about this man. I feel like they could be secretly married. And for some of you, that's the problem. These two people could have been secretly married. You're not you're not involved in this situation at all. These people, they're secretly married. They got married for some type of reason. And this man, like I said, the tower and the justice, he wants to divorce this person. The will and the son, he wants to divorce this person and go towards true happiness. It almost is like somebody, no, I was tricked into getting married under some kind of spell. Honestly, the death and the magician card here, it's almost like somebody was tricked into getting married, possibly on the spell work. They could be hiding the fact that they're married or they also could be hiding the fact that they're actually going through a divorce. 
Mm. These people could be married and they could be trying to hide the fact that they're going through a divorce. They may not want to tell the children that they're going through a divorce or their family. Maybe they work together. Something about their family, their religion, their beliefs. They don't want people to know that they're going through like a divorce. And I feel like this person, they don't want a divorce, but the fact that they know that this person wants to come towards you, I'm telling you, all hell broke loose. I'm here. I heard this person say, why her? It could be anybody else. Why her? Why her? Why her? This, this person wants to come to you to propose to you. Yeah. And it's killing this other person. Five of Cups. And you see it says R.I.P. This part, this is this person's like, it's their, the biggest load on them is to find that this man wants to come to. This person has to have been doing magic and manipulation on this connection for a long time. And the fact that it's crashing and burning, they don't know what to do. Because I'm t this man is like, you have to go. I feel like this man is just like, I don't care if you have to be at this mental facility for 30 days or whatever. I'll take care of my kids. But this man is going towards his divine feminine. He does not care. Six of wands. He, he's, he's like, I'm shooting and I won't miss. This man is handicapped. Playing back. He's like, I don't care. I don't, this man does not care what he has to go through. He's going towards his divine feminine. Something has to have been revealed. The Knight of Pentacles. This man has gotten some kind of communication. He's gotten some type of information that has given him clarity. He sees how unhappy he is with this person. It's like a light bulb moment. Like something just clicked. He's like, I. He hates being with this person. Hates it. These people. That these people are pretending. I'm telling you, they really are pretending. And to to the the public, to everybody, this person looks like the perfect mother. She looks like they look like the perfect family. She's the perfect mother. Everything, but three of cups. This person is drinking and obsessive, and I feel like this man is going outside of this home to get his needs met met elsewhere. And whenever he move, goes out, he's thinking about this divine feminine from his past. And the woman, she knows that. She knows that this man has made a decision. Look, King of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. This man is like, I'm sick and tired of you with your mental health issues, you drinking. This man is like, I'm tired of going out with you, pretending that everything is okay. I just want to be out of this situation. This man is tired. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is a drama queen. She's emotionally just unstable. And I think that when she saw this man packing up or she saw a text message or something, this man could have told somebody else. I'm getting for some, he told like a, a female friend or a sister or something like that, that, you know, I'm about to go ahead and leave this situation. He's work. He, he may have told someone he was working on leaving. When this person, this lady found this out, she went crazy. Because he's, he's making an offer to this person that he feels like it's a destined connection with. This was a faded connection with you and someone. So for some of you, take it however it resonates. Okay, yeah, Two of Cups justice. There's going to be justice served in this Two of Cups situation, this Twin Flame situation. Justice will be served. Now, for some of you, this is someone from your distant past. Like, I don't feel like this is the person that you... I don't feel like this is like that dark person in your life. That dark, like, karmic person. This is someone that you you may not really think about. This is someone maybe you haven't had any communication with this person in a few years. They've always perhaps thought about you, loved you, wanted to be with you, but they, you know, have been just living life and they have this situation going on with this other person. For some of you, this is someone that you met while they were possibly separated from someone. You may have just felt like this. I'm getting strongly. You felt like this person was just full of BS. They were very secretive. What this person has been hiding is not what you think. Now, I'm not saying... I'm not trying to make excuses for anybody, but I do feel for some of you, you have a person that has been hiding the fact 
that they are moving money around. This has been coming out all week. They're moving money around and making plans behind the scenes to try and get away from someone that they're either married to, that they live with, they may or may not have children. But it's a lot of layers to this situation. This person, they're fixated on you. This person knows that you're their twin. They know that they want to marry you. Not only do they know, everybody else knows. But I'm telling you, everybody thinks that this woman is perfect. This woman could have a platform. I just got, she could have a platform. And everybody that views this woman thinks that, wow, she, she's just got it all figured out. Behind closed doors, she's crazy. Behind closed doors, she's crawling around on the floor, pulling on the ankles of this man, begging him not to walk out the door. Like, she's really sick. And like, like a functional alcoholic, like she may drink, do drugs, or something like that. She, she goes to periods of not taking her medication. And this man, he does care for her, you know, because I feel like they they could have worked together. They could have had a friendship at some point. They built something. To, they have history with one another for sure. But I, he's not in love with this person. He is not in love with this person. I feel like these two people, I don't feel like they're really sleeping. Let me tell you, this is almost like this woman. I feel like she just about right. Let me not, you know. She's very forceful with this person because I, I don't feel like this man can really, he's not really aroused by this woman because of her behavior. The things that she says, her stalker tendencies and all. I feel like this lady, she's checking his receipts. She's ace of pentacles with the page of swords. She's checking his bank accounts, his receipts. She's trying to see if he has any options. If she thinks he has any options at all, she's doing magic on them. She's a dark um high priestess or witch of some sort or she's paying somebody look at it she's obsessed either she wants to be married to this man and she knows that there is no chance of that or they're separating but this either she is hiding the fact that she does some type of magic herself or she's for sure paying somebody and she's pay yeah she's paying somebody top dollar to do pretty much magic on any person that this that this masculine has connected to. I, and I just had a reading within the, the last week or so where I said, for some of you, this person, you really need to stay out of this situation. Because I feel like she's hiring investigators, all kinds of stuff. For some of you, you know, this um, hacking, tracking, spying energy is coming from this karmic that's completely obsessed. And you're not paying any attention to this. Like, you're living your life. This man is going through a divorce. Or he has filed for a divorce. Definitely could be a Leo out here. Strength card. Five of swords. These people could have kids together. You're just minding your business. And this man is going through hell with this person. Pure hell. If you do know this person, I feel like you you at some point or whenever you last talked to this person, you probably told them that you were making the decision to start over, that you were done with this situation. This person, they their situation at home turned very, very dark and toxic. Like I said, this woman, she she she's not suitable really to be around these kids. And maybe that's why this person has stayed behind for so long because she doesn't need to be left with these kids alone. Yeah, the page of pentacles. That's the truth. Will of Fortune, Nine of Cups. You're this person's, like, happiness. But, I mean, I don't know if you're going to, you know, deal with this situation knowing that this, this person is in the background. Because, oof, that's a lot. The fool. This person here is going to end up in jail or in this mental facility. And this emperor is going to move forward. Yep, King of Cups. The same King of Cups that we saw earlier. The Tower. Look, nine of swords. This part, she's sitting there stressed out because she's going. Thank you, spirit. She's going to do something. This person, she's going to destroy her own life. And I hate to say it, but it's going to be a major breakthrough. If you want to be with this person, you're going to have a major breakthrough because I feel that she's going to do something very soon. Very foolish. Very, very foolish. You know how some people, like I said, the boy who cries wolf, 
she's going to make some type of attempt to you know hurt herself or something she's going to end up at a mental facility and she's not going to get out and if she has done anything at all that was violent she's going to end up either in prison or a mental facility for an extended period of time and when that happens this this emperor is going to come towards you this is the divine intervention that's happening she's going to be blocked now if this isn't physically spiritually she's going to be blocked from whatever she's trying to do this king of pentacles person wants some balance in his life peace and harmony this man is tired of being heartbroken and he wants to go towards the nine of pentacles for ace of ace of wands he's decided he wants a passion new beginning he's been manifesting this for a long time but that you, some of you you have no idea that this i don't know whose story this is this man is going through pure hell behind closed doors with this woman pure hell Wow. And I mean, she is fixated on Divine Feminine. Like, she's, she, I'm here, I can't believe she says, why her? It could be anybody. It could be anybody. Why her? Why her? So, this, if this is somebody from your past that you separated from, for sure, and, and perhaps they chose to be with this person, I don't know if you're planning to be with this, this masculine or not. But if this masculine did something really, really low down and dirty to you, karma for them is the person that they ended up with. Because I'm telling you, you don't get to, you, you can't come out of this. This person here, especially if they have children together, this is going to be a lifelong battle. Let me see um, what's happening in love. Let's look at this other day here. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is is juggling. I'm telling you, this instability will fortune. Something here has has backfired. I do feel strongly though that there is some magic here that has backfired. There is some type of ritual or some spell work or something here that has backfired, and it's got this person going completely crazy right now. I don't know if this person was trying to play with your your mental health or your mind, and it has thrown them off completely. The Seven of Pentacles is here. Oh, the Lovers and the Hermit. This person ghosted you. This person ghosted you. They chose this other person. They ghosted you and they did not receive the return on the investment that, that they had hoped for. Like I said, though, you guys, not making excuses for anybody. But whoever this other person is, this person looks perfect on paper. And this person has been doing a lot of magic on this masculine. She looks perfect. I'll be honest with you. If you're not really tapped in, the average person will go, will choose that other person. If you're the type of person that's all about the status quo, you know, and I am getting the hierophant energy here. So this could be someone who, you know, traditional, could be very religious. This person looks perfect on paper. Looks, I mean, perfect. This person may have turned their back to you and they chose this person. Now, oh my gosh. Now this person is feeling very much left out in the cold five of pentacles. This person also may, if they have children, they're going to be left to take care of some kids by themselves. Yeah, this was an illusion. Seven of cups. Eight of pentacles. Page of cups. This person, this, this other person started doing work on an offer that was supposed to come to you. And it backfired. The magic that they did when this person was supposed to come to you, it has backfired. Yep, justice. That's karma. 